Pika cosplay here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made my Pi cosplay from Critical Role The Legend of Vox Machina. I have been working on a rather big cosplay project and I wanted to make a simple cosplay that didn't need to be perfect or 100% accurate. Now, all the projects I have materials for are rather big projects, but luckily my scrap pile of fabric is also very big because I always buy way too much. A character that is currently on my mind is Pike from Critical Role and I dived into my scrap pile of fabric to see if I had anything to make a sort of more casual version for that character. And blessed be, I just had the right amount of fabric left to make her more casual outfit from The Legend of Fox Machina. First, I started on her padded jacket by cutting out my favorite pattern with some adjustments. I used the leftover fabric from my husband's his shaggy pants. I had to do the back in four panels because I only had a small amount of fabric left, but I will just have to make it work. I pinned everything to see how it looks and I will need to make a few more adjustments to the pattern. But first let me sew the four back panels together. Perfection! Then I pinned the seams in the back to see how they look before sewing them. The back panel is now done. I did the same for the two front panels and pinned everything again before sewing the tunic. I did not have enough fabric for lining, so I just hemmed the edges. Then I added the details by using some leftover bias tape I still had from my D&D character. Some of the details I sewed by hand because my sewing machine hates this bias tape and makes a lot of unhealthy noises when I try to sew it, so this works as well. And with that, the jacket, tunic, gambeson, whatever you want to call it, is done. Next, I started on the pants using the leftover fabric from the apron I made for the casual outfit of my D&D character. And again, I just had the right amount of fabric left. After ironing the pieces, I sewed it all together and added an elastic. Now I just had to sew the cuffs and voila, the pants are done. For the belt, I used my Merlin belt as I don't have the cosplay anymore. I just removed the buckle, cut it to the right length and added some velcro. This is starting to look nice. I did sew new cuffs for the shirt as the sleeves were a little bit too short. The shirt is also from my casual D&D character's outfit. Then I started on the bracers using some leftover fake leather. I lined them with some of the linen scraps for comfort and added some leftover bias tape from Astrid. Then I added the rivets and a ribbon and now they are done. I sewed a quick scarf using some of the fabric I planned to use for a new aerial town dress one day. And then it was time to start on the holy symbol. First I painted some diamonds with nail polish and then I cut out the shape in foam. I sandwiched it with warbla with the cord for the necklace between the layers. Cleaning up the symbol was tricky and I had to make some adjustments, but with a lot of patience I managed. Then I glued the diamonds in place and I used some green stuff to fill the gap between them. Then it was primer time. After the primer I first painted the symbols in a yellowish brown color as a base, then I added two layers of gold paint. Next up the wig. First I trimmed the strands in the front and then braided the hair to create an updo more inspired by the campaign's art than the animated series as I like that better. Could use some more practice on the updo, but for now this is good enough. I wanted to call the costume done here, but winter boots in summer just doesn't work. So I cut my old Jovia boots, removed the lining and sewed in the same elastic to keep them up. I added the details and now I have boots for summer that are also more accurate and fit better with the costume. Now let's see how this all looks.
And that is how I made my pie cosplay. I'm very happy with the result, especially because I had to be creative with cutting out the pattern pieces as some of the scrap fabric I had left wasn't all that much anymore, but we made it work. And as a bonus, my huge pile of scrap fabric is now just a tiny bit smaller. But anyway, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and bye! Door, you are no match for me.